Hi, welcome back to my video tutorial. Today I'm looking at ReDiaries 15 Pro and it's an OCR program which stands for Optical Character Recognition and this can convert be it scans, PDF or images into different formats. So let's get straight down to it. Let's go to the ribbon at the top of ReDiaries. First thing I always like to do is go to Advanced Settings to make sure you set them up first. Do a left click and then we go straight into Advanced Settings and the first option is Acquire. So when you're acquiring a scan, you can choose whether to have it automatically rotated the correct way up. None, so the way you put it into the scanner, the way it will come out. Have a 90 degrees clockwise, or 180 degrees, degrees counterclockwise. I always like to leave that on automatic, so it turns it around automatically for me. Page to skewing improves the readability of a scanned image. I'll show you how that works in a minute, but I'm going to leave that off for now. Font type. You can choose automatic or dot matrix. Dot matrix is the type of effect you get, so each character is made up of dots, so you can have that effect. I like to leave it on automatic. Character pitch, I leave that on automatic, but it also stands for a measurement of the number of characters per inch. You can choose fixed, proportional, or automatic, but again, I like to leave that on automatic. These are the barcodes because you can actually use the recognition option to do the barcodes as well as images and text and tables. Document processing. I do believe you need a corporate version. Let me click on that for you. There you go. To be able to use those options. So if you decide to upgrade at a later date. Learn. This will learn any new fonts in a document and then you can add them to a dictionary. I'm going to leave that off for now training mode because as it's scanning and doing a recognition it will pop up for you to add those fonts. So I'm going to leave that off and language, make sure you choose the correct language you're using. I would leave it on accuracy rather than speed recognition. It's more important to have accuracy than speed, so again that's up to you. Click OK. So that's the advanced settings done. Next I want you to go to the scan, but don't press the scan button yet because you need to choose your scanner. Click on the little arrow at the bottom and select settings. If you can't see your scan already up there, select the scanner model and go through the list and find your required one. If it's not there, make sure you've installed a driver for your scanner. Once it's installed, click configure. Now this configure option lets you choose which scanner you want to use. You might have more than one scanner or means of scanning. You can choose it there. Again, contrast and brightness on the actual scan. You can choose what you want there. Also you have optimize resolution for OCR. Leave that tick. That makes the optical character recognition a lot better. Resolution. Now I'd leave it on 300. If your scanner can do 600 dots per inch and that's more refined quality, probably for pictures or photos, then I would choose that as the resolution. But just make sure your scanner can do that. I'm going to leave it on 300. That's enough for fonts. Also grayscale color. I'll leave that on color and click OK. Now we're almost set to go. Last thing though, instead of having to go into your scan and settings, if you select source there, if you've got more than one source to scan, you can select it there quickly, then choose it from there. Click select. I'm just going to go along on a ribbon to these options quickly to output. You've got to decide what you want your recognition to be outputted to. Again, we have Word document there. We have portable document format text format and we have other. So if you click on other and you want to actually export it to another format you can do it by using this option here. For example if I click on pictures and you can choose the quality of your JPEG and even reduce your resolution to 150 or change that number if need be. But I'm going to cancel that because we're going to export it to Word and then I need to choose where I'm going to save it to. Now I'm going to go to target really handy options here. You can either save it to Dropbox, straight to an email, or if you click other, Evernote, SharePoint, Dropbox, Google Drive, Therefore Box, IrisNet, File Transfer Protocol, or OneDrive. I tend to use Dropbox and OneDrive and Evernote. So if I select Evernote, it's going to save as a Word document, and then it's going to send it straight to Evernote. Now, click on Evernote, which is a free program, select Evernote settings so if you've already downloaded it click browse and it will access your Evernote account and your program 
where you've got your folders and you can choose which folders you want to put your scanned images into you want to put your scanned documents into and click OK now when you first open this it will ask you let me show you if I click cancel I want to go to other let's choose for example OneDrive say I want to send everything to my OneDrive I've got so much storage on that now free with Microsoft Office so now if I click on the options underneath OneDrive settings I need to choose a path click browse now before you can choose a path you need to add your username or email and password to be able to access be it Dropbox, be it Evernote, be it OneDrive once you put those settings in then it will look for the folders or directories within those programs and then you can save it up into the cloud really handy option I like that and really easy to do so I want to send this to Evernote and if I click my Evernote settings I've already set that all up already click OK so I'm ready to go so I need to scan something so I've put a sample document in my scanner I'm now going to click the scan button now this window will pop up now this depends on what scanner you've got you might get a different interface so whatever interface you've got click the scan button or just check your settings I would leave them all default and just click scan and then let read iris do the rest And as it scans it will come up on the left I'm just going to zoom in a little bit so we can see the document better and there we go it's, there it go it's scanned now you can see the scan comes up in the middle now I'm going to go back up to zones and click the zones option which I'm going to show you now as you see here we've got 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and 1 now anything move is detected as an image which is a picture here. Anything orange, which is 2, 3 and 4, has been detected as text. You can also have tables by creating a rectangle around it or you can have barcodes as well by creating a rectangle around it. So if we go to the document here, it's a bit messy here on the barcode. So what you could do with this is come up to the top here and you could select delete all zones which clears it all off and then I can go to my zones and choose what I want to create as text so if I click text button there hold the left button and create a rectangle around your text so that's telling read diaries that that's all text to be converted picture again hold the left button and create a rectangle around what's a picture and again if you want you can select the barcode and create a rectangle around your barcode which comes up green and just for an example if you had a table click the table button and you can create a rectangle around what you see as a table also if you actually go on here if you click the select button that enables you to go into your zones and move them around if need be as so also if we go to zone 4 also if I click the sort button you can choose the order you want them to be sorted so for example if I click sort I would want my text to be detected first when it's recognizing it I want my image second number two I want my barcode third and I'd want my table fourth so when it scans it will specifically do it in that order also you've got the ignore option stuff you want to ignore so if I click on that so if I click all the text everything else will be ignored apart from what I've created a rectangle around so I'm going to go back up to here and delete all zones so again I'm going to go text I want that as my text picture I want that as my picture and my barcode I want that as my barcode now we're ready to convert it so go back to home it's going to export to documents and I'm going to send it to my Evernote account so it's going to convert as a document or PDF if you like and it's going to go to Evernote so click the start button first thing to do is bring up my Evernote account these are the folders in my Evernote and there's a little symbol that indicates Evernote so I'm going to save it in my Spuddy's notebook and click OK I'm going to give it a name sample one click OK and now it should sync with my Evernote account 
and send it there. Click OK. You see it's uploading the document to my Evernote account. And now if I open up Evernote, I should have that folder. there. Is my Evernote account. I'm going to click the sync button just to sync with the server. And there it is. So you can do that with Dropbox, you can do that with OneDrive or any program you use to save stuff into the cloud. We can also save it as a file. So for example this time I want to save it as a PDF. And Adobe Acrobat Reader. This time I don't want to send it to Evernote. So what I'm going to do is click OK. I'm going to send it as a file onto my desktop. So now it's going to save as a PDF save as a file so if I click start click this little button here open after saving which will automatically open up the file and click save let it do its formatting and there's the PDF and close also on the home option is you've got your main language here which is English UK you can choose a secondary language if you require that might occur in a document here by ticking it and that will also convert it for you 3D correction. I click it one and it gives us a skewing option. It does perspective correction on an image for you. Also you can adjust, so if I click the button here, we can choose brightness. Maybe lighten it up a little bit there. Click apply and I'm going to drag that to the left so you can have a look. Uh, turn the contrast down, click apply. Oh, it's a bit better then we can actually remove 12 pixels dots even 20 click apply but as there's not a lot of detail there you can see that isn't much difference apart from the image so if I drag that back and not remove any and click OK also rotate your image turn upside down if you want and turn it back round again by clicking the same button also if you require you can open up an existing image and convert it if you go to zones, which I showed you these options here, you can also reanalyze your document by clicking analyze. And it will reanalyze it and look for the fields again. Again you can choose to ignore and clear them all out. Or again you can sort by clicking which zones you want to do one at a time. You can delete all zones if any exist. And also you can open up a template if you want. And if you've got a Sony template you use over and over, you can create one here by saving a certain templates for zones. So you can open it up when you've got a document so you don't have to keep doing it manually. Page option. Click into here. You've got first page. In this case, we've only got one page there anyway. Previous page. This is the pages you scan. Next page. Last page. Move down one. Move up page one excludes page if you don't want a page you can exclude it by going down the list on the left and delete page if you don't want to delete the page on the left that you've scanned you can select this option here if there's any pages that not contain any content what you've scanned maybe a PDF for example it might have some blanks you can delete them all or decide you might include all pages blank or not or exclude all pages from the recognition this is your disk option this will straighten your document in this case it don't need straightening but I'll click it anyway. Remember, skewing improves the readability of a scanned image. So you can use that option to just improve the quality. Again you can rotate the direction you want. And also you can adjust the image. So if I click it, it brings up my image options that we saw earlier. Click OK. You can also print, save picture, or save page as image. So if I click it, you can save it straight as an image to anywhere on your computer. This is your cloud setup. Now remember when I showed you, and if I go back to home, we've got these target options here. Let me click into it. We can access that with cloud setup here. So you might be someone that uses Google Drive. Click on it. Choose your path in Google. But again, you have to access your account first. And click OK. So what I like about Read Iris just to upload your files in the cloud quickly. And then we go to view. So you've got a magnifying glass. Do a left click on there and it also brings up view. 
50% actual size, and you can 200% actual size if you want. Right click, and then you can come back down with your view to fit to window. Also, to increase or reduce the size of the displayed image, again, you can zoom straight in with that as well, which we did with the right click, and come back out again. Also, the color option here. This will display the document in color if there's any color, but if I scroll down in this case, there was no color in it. If I do a right click and go back to view, I'm going to select fit to window to go back where we originally were. And any documents you don't want here, you can click the clear option here. Finally, the help option. Go back to home. Now we can now we can scan from a scanner. How about scanning from a file? Click the button once. Find a PDF to scan or image. That tutorial shortcuts for JAWS will do. And there we go. It's now scanned it. So it's page two and page three. Remember when you check it, just to make sure you know what's an image, I'm going to go to zones and I'm going to select picture and make sure I've got that as an image and the rest looks fine, all this text. Then you can go page three, again, and check if that's all right. If you don't want any of the documents that scanned, click on them, and you can click the clear button. And that will get rid of them all for you. Go back to home. I haven't got all the options to use because I'm actually using a 10 days trial mode. But if you do get stuck, you've got some great help files here. Use a guide to knowledge base and you can even ask a question.